Osteoporosis is a very important problem for women. It occurs uh, much earlier in life in women and with a much greater frequency than it occurs in men. And we don't really understand completely the factors that put women at greater risk. Women who suffer a hip fracture have about a 20% chance of dying in the first year after hip fracture. Nearly 50% of women over the age of 50 will have some sort of osteoporosis related fracture in their lifetime. In 2002, Women's Health Research at Yale funded a project in which we asked the question whether dietary protein was good or bad for your bones. Most of the work before that time had suggested that dietary protein was bad for your bones because it leached calcium from your bones. With the pilot funding provided by Women's Health Research at Yale, we went back and looked at this question using sophisticated uh, biochemical techniques and found that, in fact, increasing dietary protein within the range of normal actually improved calcium absorption from the intestine and led to an increase in levels of hormones in the blood that are good for your bones. The pilot project that we received in 2002 that led to our current studies examining the effect of a protein supplement on bone health in women has really changed the field in terms of its opinion about that particular nutrient's effect on the skeleton. Those findings allowed us to apply for and achieve funding support from the National Institutes of Health and the U.S. Department of Agriculture that have led us to do a large clinical trial asking the question whether in older women and men who naturally consume low levels of dietary protein, supplementing their diet with a small amount of protein improves their bone health. So both in terms of the ways the scientific community views dietary protein, as well as its possibility as a treatment for osteoporosis, I think our work has made a major impact.